Imagine a microscopic creature that can survive space travel, a 12,400 year old puppy with its brain almost perfectly preserved, and what does a bison that's been frozen for 9,000 years taste like? These are more terrifying frozen creatures scientists are too afraid to defrost. What you're looking at here is a water bear, which, uh, which Star Wars movie is it from? Well, none. These things actually exist right here at home. They're just really, really tiny, thankfully, because that thing looks like something from David Lynch's Dune. Wouldn't want to live in a world where this thing was as big as even a regular sized house cat. Tardigrades, nicknamed water bears, are resilient, rather fascinating little creatures. They're microscopic animals that are known for their ability to survive in pretty extreme conditions. In Antarctica, tardigrades have been found frozen in ice for thousands of years. What's amazing about these little creatures is their ability to go into a state of suspended animation. When conditions are harsh, like extreme cold or dryness even, tardigrades dry out and enter a kind of hibernation. When researchers thaw them out, they can come back to life. Water bears have even survived space travel in this dormant state, making them one of the toughest known organisms. Their ability to withstand freezing radiation, even the vacuum of space, just goes to show that these little things may be the hardiest little critters on the face of the planet. Back in 2015, Siberian herders made a pretty crazy discovery. While looking for mammoth ivory in the frozen tundra, they found a 12,000 400 year old puppy frozen in the permafrost. It was incredibly well preserved. The puppy's fur, whiskers, even its little nose was still intact, which is pretty unheard of for animals that have been frozen for, you know, tens of thousands of years. And the craziest part is its brain. Most ancient animals that get frozen, especially ones that old, end up with their brains completely degraded. This puppy, though, had a brain that was almost entirely undamaged. Crazy. So, scientists think this thing could have been a link between ancient wolves and the first domesticated dogs, which is also huge. The preservation of this puppy could help us solve one of the biggest mysteries in human history. How did humans first tame wolves and turn them into dogs? By extracting its DNA, researchers could unlock a lot of answers, giving us a better idea of when and how dogs became the adorable pets that we know and love today. In 2011, a team of researchers in Siberia made an absolutely amazing find. It was a bison that had been frozen for over 9,000 years. They didn't just find bones though, the thing was preserved like it had just died the day before. The bison was covered in thick fur, it still had some muscle tissue, and even some of its internal organs, including its heart, they were almost perfectly preserved. And that level of preservation is rare for something this old. Old, even when frozen. And this is absolutely nuts, kind of gross. So to make things even more surreal, scientists actually cooked and ate a piece of the meat. They were curious to see what 9,000 year old bison tasted like. Turns out the answer is not much. Apparently it was chewy, didn't really taste like a lot, because that's what happens when your meat's been sitting in the freezer for 9,000 years. I would not have tasted that, I don't think. I, I don't care how many scientists are around telling me it's safe. I just don't really see the point. You guys go ahead. In 2018, Russian researchers found a horse fowl in Siberia that had been frozen in permafrost for over 42,000 years. What's so mind-blowing about this find isn't just how old it was, it was how it was preserved. The foal still had its hooves, its fur, even its internal organs. But what really sent scientists into a frenzy was the fact that its BLOOD was still inside its body. Bodily fluids from a horse that lived during the Ice Age, preserved for tens of thousands of years. Well, because because there was so much of the animal still there, the discovery kind of got people talking about cloning. And it wasn't just a passing thought. Scientists started to seriously discuss whether this young horse could be the key to bringing extinct species back to life. I mean, imagine seeing a horse from the Ice Age galloping around again, just like something out of Jurassic Park. I mean, not as cool, because it would be a horse instead of a dinosaur, but still an ancient horse. It's something, at least. In 2021, scientists discovered a frozen mammoth in Siberia, and this one was unlike anything they'd seen before. Most frozen mammoths are found as skeletons or with only small traces of flesh, but this one had actual chunks of flesh hanging from its bones. I mean, look at this thing, it almost looks like just a modern elephant. And again, it also had red stuff still in its body. Fine helped scientists study how certain biological materials can survive freezing temperatures for such a long time. Researchers were able to collect samples of the BLOO to analyze 
how it managed to stay in liquid form for so long, which could have massive implications for modern medicine. If scientists can figure out how mammoth BL OOD survived in permafrost, it could lead to breakthroughs in preserving organs for transplants, say. In 2022, scientists revived a virus that had been frozen for nearly 50,000 years. A virus called Pandora virus Yedoma was discovered in the Siberian permafrost. Fortunately, it only infects single-celled organisms, but the fact that something can survive being frozen for thousands and thousands of years and still be infectious, that opens up a lot of questions and concerns. For one, if a virus can stay in a state of suspended animation for that long and come back to life, what other dormant viruses or pathogens could be lurking in the melting permafrost? Scientists are especially concerned because climate change is causing permafrost to thaw at a pretty alarming rate, meaning more ancient viruses and bacteria could be released into the world. There could be viruses from the Ice Age that might be deadly to humans. You know, us modern folk just wouldn't have the immunity to them. Kimberly Miner, a climate scientist at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, had this to say. There's a lot going on with the permafrost that is of concern, and it really shows why it's super important that we keep as much of the permafrost frozen as possible." End quote. Now, to some, an old virus trapped in ice suddenly springing back to life and spreading across the world sounds like a zombie movie plot, and sure, the chances of things getting that bad are slim, but these frozen viruses are actually sometimes referred to as zombie viruses, and scientists have discovered some pretty unsettling things in the permafrost over the years. For example, in 1997, a lung sample from a woman buried in permafrost in Alaska was found to contain genetic material from the 1918 flu epidemic. Then in 2012, researchers confirmed that a 300-year-old mummy from Siberia had the genetic signatures of the smallpox virus. And just in 2016, there was a small anthrax outbreak in Siberia, which affected a small group of people and thousands of reindeer. This was also thanks to thawing permafrost. On a lighter note though, let's briefly talk about nematodes, also known as roundworms. This is another type of microscopic thing that can survive through freezing temperatures. In Antarctica, researchers have discovered these tiny worms frozen in the ice. Like tardigrades, nematodes can enter a state of suspended animation when conditions become too hard, and when they're thawed, they can sometimes revive and resume their normal activities. Not sure what nematodes get up to, probably not all that interesting, but still they can go back to doing whatever it is, which is pretty cool. It's also pretty cool is that scientists study these nematodes because their ability to survive might give us some clues about how to preserve other biological material and learn more about how life might survive in other extreme environments on Earth or even out in space. In 2020, researchers discovered the preserved remains of a woolly rhino on a Russian island. It still had some fur, its skin, and muscle tissue. What made it even more interesting is that the rhino was still a juvenile when it died, likely around three or four years old. Now, why is this so interesting? Well, because it was so young, only about three or four, it helped researchers learn more about what growing up in the Ice Age was actually like, what they ate, how fast it grew, what kind of hellish environment it was dealing with, and how these things would have developed as they aged. In terms of how it died, it couldn't say for sure, but it looked like it probably drowned after falling through ice into freezing water. Instant deep freeze. This thing kind of looks like a brick too. It's like a little, it's like flat. Oh. Again, in 2020, scientists found a bird frozen so perfectly that it looked like it had just fallen out of the sky. It was a horned lark and had been dead for about 46 thousand years, 46,000 years, and it looked like this. You know, still not like a great way for your body to be. Obviously the thing is dead, right? It's, it doesn't look great. But if I were just looking at this image with no context, I would have thought it was dead for maybe six months, not, you know, 46,000 years. The bird was encased in ice, which preserved it in almost the same way it would have looked back in the Ice Age. Scientists took DNA samples to compare it to modern birds. The goal is to learn about how species evolved over tens of thousands of years and possibly understand how the climate changes of that era might have influenced bird evolution. Also gave them a great look at how the Ice Age 
didn't just freeze mammals, it preserved all kinds of life forms. In 2019, reindeer herders in Siberia came across something pretty macabre, but also really cool. A severed bear head, frozen solid in the permafrost. But this was a very old bear, a Pleistocene cave bear, a giant of the Ice Age that could grow up to 11 feet tall and weigh over 3,000 pounds. The head was almost perfectly preserved with fur, teeth, and even the brain still inside. The cave bear has been extinct for about 24,000 years, but this head was so well preserved it almost looked like it had been frozen yesterday. And I know what you're thinking, but no, they did not find the body. How did just the head survive so perfectly and where is the rest of it? Was it scavenged? That would be my guess. Hunters would have probably killed the thing and then ate the rest of its body. With all that said though, I've been your host James and I'll catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.